Hey, this is Mike. Just wanted to show you this uh, 2012 Volvo XC60 that we have in a lot in black. Um, interesting looking vehicle and uh, it's got low miles. You can see it has parking sensors in the front here as well as the back. It's got a nice Volvo symbol there in the front, which is pretty neat. And uh, does have four wheel disc brakes, nice alloy wheels. It's got a sunroof. And um, let's check it out. Tires look good. You can see it's got the parking sensors here in the rear as well. Go ahead and open it up here. And uh, here's the inside of the back. Got plenty of space here. Those seats do fold down in case you need more cargo space. Got some mats right there. And this right here lifts up, and you've got some storage space under here. Spare tires under this right here. That way you can put some stuff out of the out of sight if you need to. You got a 12 volt adapter there. And uh, like a little sunshade right here in case you need that. I'm go ahead and close it. Pushing that button. Alrighty. It does have the proximity sensor key. And if you're not familiar what that is, I do have a video on that if you'd like to watch it. And uh, it's got like a leather side there. It looks pretty cool. Water bottle holder there for the back passengers. Nice uh, tan leather seats. And pretty good amount of room back here. I'm going to go ahead and open this up, see what's in here. Got some cup holders and some storage, which is always good. And um, go here in the front, see inside of the front door. Um, same thing, you got some storage down there. Now you got your side mirror controls. Now it's just the interesting thing about this vehicle is that um, when you turn the vehicle off, I noticed that the side mirrors fold in so so that way you don't have people walking by accidentally bumping into your side mirrors and stuff now it looks like it has a parking sensor there underneath the side mirrors so it's like a um, it's like a blind spot sensor I believe um, here's your sensor I mean here's your controls for your power seat and it does have heated seats as well all right I'm gonna go ahead and hop in pretty interesting looking vehicle um, you got some simple gauges there, real easy to read. Speedometer goes up to 160, which is a little surprising to me, but hey, this might be, uh, you know, hot rod. Um, okay, so you have some audio controls there. You got some cruise control settings over there. Um, you've got like a nice tan and like a dark, dark, deep chocolate type brown uh, theme going on here as far as colors. Um, and here's your controls for the um, your climate controls here temperature for the driver passenger and got some storage space back here which is interesting Let's see if the camera can pick that up with a leg being in the way and um, Let's see if you can see it on that side Alright, so anyway, um, and we also have a keypad here, which I believe um, you can sync your phone and dial out. I'm not really sure. If you know, let me know in the comments. i um, be glad to know more about this vehicle. Now, when I put it in reverse, I notice it doesn't have a backup camera, but you see the little car there, and it shows like little waves coming out, showing you that there's parking sensors all the way around. So, I thought that was pretty neat. And um, so you got a nice readout there. I don't know if you can see it, the camera, um, which has a clock and temperature. Up here, you've got a digital compass and the rearview mirror. And you do have the sunroof with it. It's like a panoramic style sunroof that has um, a shade there. And it's just pretty cool. It opens up. I'm good. Put that back down, put the shade back, 
and we've got some lights and stuff. Looks like we've got auto dim headlights with auto dim mirror. Got mirrors here in the visors with lights. And um, really cool, interesting vehicle. Comfortable, extremely comfortable seats. That's one thing I'm noticing. Um, but anyway, if you're interested in this vehicle, um, it does have low miles, under 20,000. And um, so if you're interested in this vehicle, let me know. My name is Mike. Phone number and email address will be in the description. I'll see you next time.